Koto everybody welcome to my what is this a shelf welcome to my shelf I had this built like at the beginning of the year just so that I can um, get some other things and, and keep some of our food storage covered here now I'm showing you this a very short video to show or impress upon you not to impress you to impress upon you how much you can buy for five dollars a week over four months Okay, now um, if you go back to the original video, whenever it was, we talk about food storage and, and out of all the things that we talk about in Mama's Kitchen, all the recipes and ruddy ruddy rah, this is the most important thing because having a food storage cupboard um, could not only save you money in the future, but also save you in times of peril. For example, um, if you're between jobs, if you have been made redundant, if there's a pandemic, here's a go. So these are some of the things, and I know if you have a look, like I said, back in the video, it'll talk about all the things that we really should be storing. These are just some of the things, and there's lots of gaps, but these are the things that we purchased that were on sale. So we've got um, tomatoes, which were dirt cheap, and all of our pasta here, and I've just got it here for the purpose of showing you, normally we have it in a, in a container, you know, things that can be packed away so that it would be rodent proof, for example. Um, you know, because if I kept it here and I had a mouse, mate, the mouse would have a field day. Um, and it's happened before, just throwing that out there. Um, we've got things like full cream milk and lots and lots of like cup of soups and things like that, which are good for um, flavouring casseroles and, and quiches and all that sort of hullabaloo. Um, we have got our, we've stored some of our rolled oats in here and in there somewhere are bay leaves. Don't forget to put the bay leaves in there because they'll keep the weevils at bay. Bay, <laughs> no, unintended. Um, rice, okay, there's, look, there's the bay leaves. So these containers, don't forget to keep them, um, dry them, wash them and dry them out properly and they're perfect because they are, they, it's easy to see what you've stored, um, it's pourable, and uh, they're free. Free's good. Free works for me. So go down to your local recycle centre and pick up some of these and start drying them out, cleaning them out and drying them out. Um, so I've got salt in there and I've got raw sugar in there and we've picked up cans of tuna and baked beans and pasta sauces and all sorts of bits and pieces so again that's pretty much it that's what we've collected over four months for a food storage cupboard not that hard okay so um and that was just five, for five dollars a week so my challenge to you is that you think about what you can purchase for five dollars a week if you can make it a bit more than that's great but if you can't just work on five bucks okay um i hope you guys are well we'll put out a video in the next day or two we're going to be making what are you making liz bacon and egg pie bacon and egg pie Woo -hoo -hoo. it's one of our faves so um i'll see you in the next day or two be good be kind to each other don't forget to keep recycling don't forget to um to uh be um keeping some putty aside so that you can get things like this for your food storage cupboard for um an emergency so i hope you're well keep safe um look out for each other don't forget to uh, do things for each other because the more you give to others the more you will get back i promise you um have a great day eh? Ka kite.